Hello everyone, Sigler here, Pork Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So I finally got six pieces of the tier one set and oh my god it's good. Like it's 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 kinda hard to fathom how freaking broken this is for gold farming. Um sure Paladin might not be the best one, but it's my favorite one by far. It always has been. And yeah, it's just great. And I'm gonna show you the talents, uh, talent build that I'm actually running for both raiding and for gold farming because I actually use the same one. You can do it in another way, um, but personally, I think that you actually lose on damage that way, and I will explain why. But yeah, let's go over th first the talents. So. Well, first of all, let's go over actually the set bonus on tier 1. So it's actually like this. First, of the 2 set is uh, increases the block value of your shield by 30. And the next one is heal for 189 to uh, 211 when you block. You can only heal once uh, every few seconds. And I think it's like... Five seconds roughly but that's a lot in my opinion and then we go to the last part that is so freaking insane let's first start with reading it holy shield no longer has charges and instead always lasts its full duration and in addition its damage is increased by 80 of your your shield block value so the more shield block value you have the more damage it's gonna make uh, from from it but and in phase one well like in the re recent update um according to my understanding it was a hundred percent before correct me if i'm wrong but it says its damage is increased by 80 percent of your shield block value and i think it was a hundred but yeah anyway um so if if i were would remove a piece and let's look like this and i don't have it if i you can see up in the corner i have four charges over here up there in the corner but if i put it on and then we use it again see we don't have any charges it will be on for eight seconds and the cooldown is 10 seconds so wait no it's actually up wait i actually read it wrong it's up for 10 seconds and the cooldown is 10 seconds so it you can have a hundred percent uptime and i'm also going to show a trick that i use when i'm tanking pretty much anything with macros that and keybinds which makes tanking way easier like it's already easy but in my opinion it became way easier but let's go first over the talents that i'm running with when i'm when i'm raiding first off we go with red out then we go with precision for the hit then we take toughness then we take two points into improved righteous fury um Shield of uh, Specialization 3, first uh, fall in uh, Anticipation, then we jump down to Blessing of Sanctuary, and then we go with Reckoning, and then we have 5 in One-Handed Specialization, and 1 on the Holy Shield, obviously. And from here, I've seen different kind of builds. When I first started raiding, I uh, went into Holy, and did consecration. The problem is that <clears throat> in season of discovery, <clears throat> it's actually not that great anymore compared to what other abilities that we have now with uh, like hammer of hammer of righteous and everything, because it says holy damage, and yeah, it's it's just better. But after that, this is up to you. I'm using Improved Blessing of Might because sometimes in our raiding group we don't have a Paladin with Improved Might. So I just have it because with as a Paladin now in Season of Discovery you will not have any mana issues while tanking. 
but if you feel like you do you can switch it up and pick this one instead but you shouldn't really need to here's a little twist that i'm doing when i'm actually both tanking and raiding the builds that i've seen go with two improved judge, uh, judgment then they go full into deflection uh, or four and then three in uh, vindiction and then either they go full in deflection or full uh, like full in deflection and four in conviction or they go in four uh, full in deflection and four in conviction but I do like this instead I actually uh, use five two and three just to get down here then I pick up pursuit of justice because it's very nice both for mounting for in raids if you need to move out of stuff it's just good for in dungeon traveling because you're running it faster in the dungeon and it's actually nice when you're boosting because you're running inside the dungeon faster so i'm gonna show you because the runs are way faster just because of it it's it might not sound like a lot but it's it is eight percent faster and when you're boosting like the way that i'm doing in the video i'm constantly running so it's like everything i do is 10 and 8 percent faster in the running part so yeah but that's the way that i'm i'm running it and then we're going to the runes when i'm tanking in raids for example i'm using phantasm but when i'm boosting i'm actually using improved sanctuary because it first of all it uh, makes us take less damage and also it makes uh, blessing of sanctuary increase our block value and it says and increases damage done by your uh, blessing of uh, blessing of sanctuary by 30 percent of your uh, shield block value and like i said with the gear we have a lot of block value and we want to have block value anyway because of the six piece where it says increases it, uh, its damage is uh, increased by 80% of your sh shield block value so it's like ramping up and then on the the cloak I use righteous shield of righteous it's just the best one because we don't use anything else and then on the chest here it's up to you I actually use uh, Aegis just because it procs all the time and and again increases your uh, block value by 30 percent you can use divine storm if you like but i don't really need the healing i guess it depends on what you're doing but i i think you're losing out on more if you go with divine storm uh, rather than aegis maybe if you're raiding and you want to like make more threat or something like that I don't know but i'm just using this one because yeah it can procs proc from melee and ranged so yeah it's just good because it's depending on the reckoning in the talent tree so yeah it's just good no oh wait no it's the yeah it's also making the redoubt better and it's because of the reckoning in uh, where it says in addition your reckoning talent gains a two percent chance to per uh, talent point to trigger from any melee or ranged attack against you so it's just procs which is awesome <clears throat> then on the brazers we use a hammer of righteous obviously because it's just a you hit two more targets and it's whole holy damage again and it deals a lot of damage and it's all all it's only six seconds cooldown and then we go over to the gloves here is up to you you can run this if you don't have the full set because of the holy shield so if you feel like you have a mana problem you can go with a uh, crusade strike instead just for just to get more mana but with the full set we are we have shield block sh uh, holy shield up all the time and if i use it for example i have 41 percent block just like this with it if this redoubt procs it's like what's that 71 uh, percent so it procs all the time and with the librem of uh, the devoted 
your block restores 2% of your total mana, which is just awesome. So we're, we constantly have like full mana all the time, so we can just go mayhem. And then we go to the blue boots. This is up to you. I don't feel like um, when I'm boosting, I really, I don't really need this one, the, the Art of War. And I just want to make sure that I actually... No, wait, it's here. Uh, the Hand of Reckoning. Sorry, I jumped. Um, uh, where is it? The Hand of Reckoning. It's over here. Um, while you know this ability, the threat uh, bonus from your Righteous Fury is increased by 106% of your Righteous Fury causes you to gain mana when healed by others by 25% of your uh, amount he uh, healed. So when you're boosting, you're not gonna... That, that part doesn't matter at all. But if you read like this, additionally, while Righteous Fury is active, damage which uh, takes you below 35% health is uh, like the damage is reduced by 20%. So it's just good. And it says Righteous Fury will remain active until cancelled. So once you turn it off, it, it's, it doesn't have any like 30 minutes. So because usually it lasts like 30 minutes, I think it is. So that's just great. And then on the waist, we go with uh, the malleable protector and this one is mandatory both for tanking uh, like raids and for boosting because of the effect on it because it's so freaking good and it says you can now take action during divine divine protection because before when you used it you can't attack uh, and the duration is increased by 50%, but it uh, only reduces damage you take by 50% instead of making you immune. In addition, activating Holy Shield also grants you 4 attack power for each point of your uh, defense skill beyond 300, lasting 15 seconds. So, I mean, if we use it, it's on for 14 seconds. And keep in mind, a uh, holy shield only has a 10-second cooldown, so you will have this up all the t all the freaking time. So that's just it's just great. Um, and then we go to the pants. We have uh, Avengers Shield because there there's not really much anything else that you could uh, feels like it's worth. Maybe if you're doing Onyxia, you can switch to inspirational uh, inspiration exemplar uh, if you don't if you're running in a group where you don't have that many priests with fear ward but yeah i'm just running with the avenger shield because it's nice for pulling and for example in stockades you can just turn into a room target one and throw it and pull the whole room and then go to the next room and then we go into the boots part that i actually jumped over um, for me personally, the Art of War is very nice when you, I'm tanking uh, raids, but it's like, sure, I can I can use it if I want to when I'm boosting, if I'm constantly hitting something, because I will probably crit a lot, so I can use it as a, just to make sure that I can pull something from afar in a room or whatever. But personally, I just go with Guided by the Light because it's just it's just constant mana anyway. Also, on top of the Devoted, Libram of Devoted, because it feels like like in raids I'm getting constantly healed, so I will get I will get um, if we look on the gloves enchant again here you will see that i'm getting 25 percent of the uh, amount healed in mana but when i'm boosting i don't get that so this one with the guarded by the light uh, boots enchant uh, uh, the boot one i will get more mana anyway because of it so it's like hand of reckoning makes me take less damage when I'm below 35% and I'm almost never below 35%. I haven't really tried the higher dungeons yet, but I'm gonna do that. 
But yeah, that's just the runes and obviously defense uh, specialization and holy specialization, obviously. And then we're going into the gear that I'm running with. Um, I got lucky from a... I made a video about it. Uh, so I got the Quel Sarar, which is awesome because it increases our defense. Because so the... Um, if I read on this one, for example, like this one and the this one is like the below here it says uh, we will get two more spell power from for each point of your defense skill beyond 300 so it's both that one and this one so it's just it's just good because it's up like all the time in three, 300 armor and it refreshes like all the time. And then I run with Skull Flame Shield. Previously, I did run with the Thorium Spike. But I feel like the blocking 2% is better. Be just because the... Like before, it felt like the, sh the uh, sh Shield Spike was better. Like, if, if I don't have the 6-piece, I would probably use the Shield Spike in when I'm boosting, at least. But now that I have it full, it's just more... It just feels better to have, because everything is more... I, I deal so much more damage when I'm blocking all the time, also. So, yeah, it's just nice to have. And then the Liberum of Devoted, and yeah, so... If you have better trinkets, like, I don't have that many good trinkets. I've been very unlucky with my trinket farm. But when I'm boosting, I'm running with Decay just to have, like, more... It's just more damage and the 40 health leech. Remember, if it leech from the target, that's 40 damage that it deals also when I'm leeching. So it's like 40 damage and I will, I will steal... 40, 40 health from that, which is 40 damage. So, and it heals me, so it's just nice. And then you can, if you'd like, run with the Dark Moon Sandstorm, but it feels like it's not that much damage because it's just wonky. It doesn't, it doesn't deal that much damage anymore because the ring is not as centered as I remembered it when it was released in phase three. So, yeah. Um, and then I used the Nagel Ring from Blackrock Depth. Just because it says when struck in combat, uh, inflict 3 arcane damage to the attacker. And keep in mind that if I'm like, let's say I pull pretty much all of the... I, I pull pretty much all of uh, Stockades. 3 damage is a lot in a whole run so if I do like this um, it's not the like best but it is it's something Let's see where it is might not even be here ah it's not actually here but it's it's something it is there so and then I'm going to show you another trick that I've done. Because if we go into here and we go into enchanting. And if we look over here. In phase 2 <clears throat> we got a new chest enchant. And if we read on it. It teaches you how to permanently enchant a piece of chest armor to reflect 9 damage back to the attacker when the bearer is struck in melee so if we open it again uh, no here it is actually so let's see from one run yeah that's one segment that's a two minute combat but in that in that moment that's it's not the it's not that it's not insane but it's it's just damage and like the other thing, it just ramps up 
This is probably not the best, but it is there. And I've also got the Cloak of Flame. It's not that great. I was a little bit disappointed because like it's on a use. Sure, it's better than the restricted the well the chest piece enchant. Uh, so I I'm re referring to this one. Deals 25 uh, 25 fire damage every five seconds to all enemies uh, for 15 seconds. So in lower dungeons, it's like stockades. I feel like it's not really worth it because yeah, it's it is there. You can use it if you want to. Personally, I'm gonna show you the one that I'm gonna try to save for because it's just it's just nice. Uh, probably costs a lot. It might drop in value now we got next phase, or it will go up in price. But if we go over here and uh, there, no, there, there, epic search, and here we go. Oh, I could actually buy it. It's not as, as expensive anymore. Deal five damage to anyone who strikes you with a melee attack. So that's another one. Like that's another one that I'm gonna buy. So I'm actually, I I know I have gold in my on my on my boomkin, so I could buy it in the mailbox. So I will most likely buy this one later tonight. So that's five more damage then. Like constantly, it's not a use effect. It's like every time someone is hitting you. So yeah, it's just nice. And then from there on, I'm using the set pieces and the flame walker leg plates. I want I want to have the tank version uh, on the tier one on the pants and head, and then get the DPS version on the bracers and gloves because the effect of it it's like just more it's more um, let me see here uh, where the hell is it uh, uh, uh. Here we go. No, wait. Uh, collection. Oh, here it is. Uh, if we read on it, for this one example, it's just increasing our holy damage effect by 14. And then we go to the gloves. It's the same thing with holy spells with... 20, 20, so it's just more damage. So that's why I want to have that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. It's just the super fun to do. And I've been farming and like boosting people in in stockades. Because it's... I, I'm going to explain to you why it's kind of great to to do this. Um, in a sense, I'm, I'm going to screen share this just so you will see it better. Where the hell is it? There we go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where are you? There. Show. So... If we look at it, it's kind of simple because if I show you, uh, where is it? Over here. And if we go over here, you will see that my fastest run was, I think it's five minutes and yeah, 32 seconds. But sometimes it was like seven and yeah. So let's say it takes roughly six minutes to to farm it. And if we use the this thing. So usually when people are buying boost or like selling boost, they're they're paying five gold a run. 
And if you're boosting four people, that's 20 gold a run. And you can only do a dungeon five times every, like, what is it, an hour or something? So that's 100 gold for five runs before you're locked out. And then you have to wait on the cooldown. But the thing is that, so that's like, uh, I did it like an average. So fi uh, five runs, then uh, will, you will hit a lockout. That's five runs in in uh, 30 minutes. Because if you take 60 minutes, that's an hour. Divided by six, that's how uh, the like how long the average run take, roughly. That's 10 runs. So just because of that, that's the five runs for 100. So basically, that's 100 gold times two. So technically, sure, you cannot do it for a whole hour, but you can do it for like 30 minutes. So that's 100 gold. So if you keep doing that, technically, you have 200 gold an hour. You cannot do it for a whole hour, but you can do it in half an hour, half an hour, half an hour, half an hour. But technically, that is 200 gold an hour. So it's just good gold, in my opinion. It's not the best, but it's 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 good so yeah this was a very long video but yeah i've been super busy with work and everything so um now with this set and face next phase and everything i need the attunement for blackwing lair for the raid on sunday and i'm very happy that i got the six piece because the guild has decided that if you don't have six out of eight you are not going to be invited to the first couple of raids because they want to make sure that you clear it so that is very nice to hear in my opinion so we don't have to like well not like well carry people so the runs have a chance to be a little bit smoother because more people are gonna have gear for it so yeah i'm super happy with the phase three so far uh, by the looks of it with the paladin changes uh, i might do a video about my thoughts and changes on the paladin if you want me to do that comment down below and say that what you think about the changes if you want me to react on anything well yeah everything of that but uh yeah click on en any of these videos from the past and i'll i'll see you over there and i'll greet you with a bork bork and i'll see you Work, work.